am just changing Luke. He was too desperate to be fed in between a nappy change and a clothing change that I had to wait until I fed him and then change him. So I'm going to get him dressed and then we're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about organizing. We're going to talk about goal setting. We're going to talk about living our best lives and it'll be good. Chatting with you will help me have a bit more clarity of thought, hopefully. And maybe for next month, you will want to join me in your own way of making sure that you have a good 2024 yeah I think that's what I wanted to say so Luke is still sporting his um, what they call it the newborn rash you get <laughs> and we still really love him. I'm still amazed that I had a little boy. He is wonderful. So his rash, if anyone's had a baby before, you know that the baby's born, they have the beautiful, perfect skin. And then a couple weeks later, they start getting all these pimples. It kind of looks like a rash, bumps and stuff. It's just a hormonal rash, which should settle down and he'll go back to his baby smooth, cute little face but yeah so he's fed and he's changed there might be some small miracle that I can where you go put him down and then sort this bedroom out because it's driving me crazy so <laughs> we'll see how mr. yawny goes and I'll be back all right just wait for me there I honestly don't know how long Luke will last, but I have things to pack away and organize, a bed to make, and then I'll feel better, I think, maybe. Say something like you love me and make my day like you always do like you always do hold my hand and look me in the eyes so i can tell you how i feel tell you how i feel every time to get changed tidy the room so I'm very happy thank you Luke he has managed to of course do a, a discreet spew over his shoulder so anyhow you all right oh is that what was bothering you is that what was bothering you yeah you feel better now end of January and I've already really started thinking in February and for like a small amount of background so I am Catherine I'm married to Ben we have 11 children 
for our family, the only month of the entire year that we don't have a birthday is, I was going to say February, but it's my birthday. It's June. So June is the only month that there's no birthdays. From the end of October, so we've got a birthday at the end of October, mid-November, we have a birthday a week before Christmas, then we have Luke was born on the 21st of December, we have Christmas, and then New Year's, we have another child's birthday, then obviously we have New Year's, and then I have a birthday round about the mid-January for another child, and then my birthday is at the end of February. I kind of feel like by the time I get to February, I'm just so like, I just exhale because I literally don't even care about my birthday at all. I genuinely do not. That it just kind of feels like this breather time. And I was talking to my daughter and I'm like, you know, February is like when I feel like I come alive again because I've been so head down planning and organizing and doing everything that it's like I can breathe again or my mind can like think more clearly. But the problem is I'm notorious for over scheduling, over booking and doing too much all in one go. This is where for 2024, I am planning on the slow and steady approach. And I don't really know how that's gonna look because I'm still remembering that I have a newborn baby we have a large family. There's a lot of different wheels in the cog, cogs in the wheel. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we as a large family do. Homeschooling stuff starts up again for the year. Extracurricular activities, all sorts of things. Fitness, losing weight, um, hobbies and crafts, things that I haven't been able to do during my pregnancy and my postpartum recovery. It's a lot. And you know the saying, fail to plan, plan to fail. And I don't plan to fail, but I guess I just wanted to start this video because this is the video for like people like me. <laughs> people like me who don't have everything picture perfect people who are just trying to live their own simple, uncomplicated life, that's, this is the video for you and for me. So now that I've got all this chatting out of my system, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to try to think really hard about the kinds of goals that I want to have. Nothing that the internet says I want to have. Um, nothing that another person in my family says I should or shouldn't do or an acquaintance or a friend or someone online or who cares who else it's like what do I actually want to do and achieve and then I need to make a plan to do it because obviously I need to be flexible I have a new little baby um, who is keeping me fairly busy I have many children I have different things going on so I want to do all the standard goals. I want to do the Bible study. I want to do the clean bedroom. I want to do the skincare and the reading for pleasure. And I want to like do my little girl's hair before lunchtime. Like maybe in the morning, that would be great. I want to start sewing again maybe maybe just maybe i'll be able to do that this year but we also want to do lots of other things like we want to move house so how is that gonna pan out and happen and where will we move and how will we do it that's a whole big journey most of it probably will happen behind the scenes and prayerfully at some stage during this year we will move house. Yes, because we have so many people in this house. Yes, we've run out of room. 
Yes, we have. So, we gotta move. Yeah. Gotta find a bigger place. Yeah. Don't worry, we won't forget to take you. We, I promise, I promise we'll take you. Yes, yes, we'll take you. So, for now, that's it. I say that's it because I have plenty of other things that I need to do today. And I've got this little fella to look after and I have to remember to drink water and eat food. These are good goals to have. But yeah, I want to have, oh, and I was also going to say, whilst I want to continue to grow my YouTube channel and hopefully do a goodish, a good job, an amazing job that people will subscribe and like my videos and follow along, I also want to reduce, dramatically reduce my screen time, which is going to be a really big challenge because I am a child of the 80s. The children of the 80s, we had our childhood with like no tech. Like we were outside all the time and doing craft projects and making friendship bracelets and going swimming and, you know, being children of the 80s. Even in the 90s, we just entertained ourselves. We didn't complain about being bored or not knowing what to do. We just did stuff. Then social media, the internet, everything came. So we've gone through the nothing and the everything. And like Instagram, I've been on Instagram for 12 years, 12 years I've been on Instagram. And I can genuinely say that some people talk about FOMO, fear of missing out, and JOMO, joy of missing out. They talk about all these things. But it's a literal reality that if you are on a social media platform and then you remove yourself that you are forgotten about. It's just the way it is. And that's something that you really have to try to unpack. I think the way of counteracting that is getting out more in your real life, doing hobbies, activities, etc. That's my goal. I watched Darcy's video recently, which I'll link for you, and it was really inspiring a lot to think about so yeah it's um big goals for 2024 I'm not exactly sure what they are maybe if I sit down and actually plan more and I get more time to like write a list I can do another video and share it with you or maybe you've already written a list and you know and you can just comment below with your list and I'll copy you no I won't because I said I said we have to you know Make our own list. What do we want to do? Some people might not want to lose weight at all. Some people may not want to move house at all. Some people might already do skincare and they don't need to like start a new habit. We're all different for a reason. But yeah, I really hope that by the end of the year, I really feel far more self-confident and far more, you know, happy in my own skin and that I change for better. So Luke and I need to go now because we do. <laughs> and um, sometimes I daydream, like I think before when I was talking about, you know, carefree childhood of no internet. Were those really the good old days? Although if we were still back there, you wouldn't even be watching this video, so. It's just finding that sweet spot that works for me and my family. So, speaking of which, all of my children, I think, basically are either out of the house doing exciting things or playing outside. So they're the ones that have really worked it out. I should probably go outside with them for a while. And, yes, so, there you go. There you go. 2024. What am I going to do exactly? I don't really know, but at least this is step one.